To start things off, I added some stock footage I like to apply a film grain effect to, to my timeline. We won't be needing the audio track, so I'm going to right click my clip, select on link, and then select the audio track and hit the delete key. Next, I'm going to drag my film grain footage to the track above my stock footage. I provided a link in the description to download the film grain clip I'm using. We don't need the audio for our film grain effect either, so once again right click it, select on link, and delete the audio part. Now since we want our film grain to last for the entirety of our footage, we are going to want to loop it. Hold down the alt key and drag the film grain footage to duplicate it. Once you have multiple copies, you can select them, and just like you did before, hold down the alt key while dragging. This allows us to duplicate multiple clips at once. Next, let's combine all of our film grain clips into one sequence. Select all of your film grain clips. Right click them and select Nest. Now we want to make it so that we can see our stock footage through the film grain. Select your film grain clip and go up to Effect Controls. In here, expand the opacity property. Then change the blend mode to screen. Alright, this looks pretty good, but I'm going to change one last thing to darken up my footage and give it a more old timey look. Select your main footage, up in effect controls go under opacity, and then just reduce the opacity to darken up the footage and make the film grain effect stand out a little more. Alright, and there you have it, we now have a nice looking film grain effect in Premiere. I hope you found this tutorial useful.